So last week I had a phone call with a client and this client is based in New York and that's a really competitive market. And the client said to me, Mark, I'm not sure if this is working out. I, I don't know if I can continue paying this much money and not getting a return because I think it's just way too competitive here and I just can't make the numbers work. And so whenever a client says that to me, my brain goes into overdrive because I never like losing clients, but look, at the end of the day, it does happen. Fortunately, we, we gain more than we lose and we have really since we started, but of course, the more clients you get, the more you lose. And so I really started thinking about his issue. And the first thing I like to go to, the first thing I like to analyze is, okay, let's step outside of his ad account and let's kind of figure out what his business offers, what are his services, more importantly, what sort of vehicles. And so this operator had sedans and SUVs, and then he had two sprinters as well. And so what we were doing at the time in Google ads is we had a campaign for him and it was targeting uh, black car work. And so with black car work, when someone searches limo service to JFK airport or car service, JFK airport or car service from JFK to the Hamptons, many times it's one or two people, but it could be a group. And I would say one out of six to seven leads is going to be a larger group where you do need something like a sprinter. And so I got to thinking, well, if all we're targeting is for black car, sedan and SUV, and this client is based in New York, well, that's really the most competitive market for sedans and SUVs for black car. Why aren't we allocating some of that budget to sprinter only work? And so that's actually what we talked about on the phone. I said, look, those sprinters, I'm guessing they're, they're not busy all the time. He said, no. And I said, well, what's your average ticket on your sprinters? And he said, it's probably five or $600 on average, uh, but many jobs can be, there's many multi-day jobs sometimes that can be thousands of dollars. And it doesn't take very many of those to make a good, good, a really good return on your ad spend. And so I said, maybe we are making a mistake. And I see this mistake a lot and it's misallocation of ad spend. And I have to say in this instance, I would blame myself for not seeing this sooner. And I'm usually pretty good at this. And, and that's typically why people come to Limo Marketer. It's not because we're very good at Google ads, which we were pretty good, but it, it's because of the industry expertise. And so if you look in your business, if you're running ads on, on really any platform, you need to think about how you're allocating your ad spend. So on Google ads at the campaign level, that's where you set your spend. And so what I see sometimes, or I used to see when I used to audit a lot of Google ads accounts for other limo companies that had worked with other agencies or set them up themselves. What most of them did is they would create just one campaign. And in that campaign, they would market every vehicle they have. That's just not a good way to do it, right? Because why would you allocate the same amount of money? And really it's not the same because unfortunately with Google ads, it's kind of like winner take all. So for instance, if you have ad groups that are related or ads related to airport car service or airport limo service or something like that, many times a few keywords can eat up most of the budget of a whole campaign. So just because you have keywords for sprinters, for, for stretch limos, for party buses, they might not get a lot of love. And so what I recommend doing, and for all of you watching this, if you are doing any sort of online advertising, be very careful about how you allocate your spend because I would say it's probably the biggest lever you have when you're doing paid advertising is how much money do I wanna to dedicate to each vehicle? Now, look, many times this is going to vary throughout the year, right? Maybe some months you're just slammed, um, your sprinters are super busy or, or you have other vehicles that are busy and then you can even, you can pause you know, that campaign if you're super booked up, completely doable. Um, but you really want to be strategic about how you spend your ad spend. And typically when we onboard a new client, we're finding out what sort of vehicles do they have and would they be okay with us marketing whatever we think is going to drive the greatest return. And most oftentimes they say, yes, yes. Do whatever you think is best based on your knowledge of Google ads, based on your market knowledge. So what we did is we created a campaign just for sprinters and we divided up the budget. We did half to sprinter, half to black car. And then, after a few days, and it took a few days, we realized after speaking with the client, why are we even doing black car at all? 
And so we actually ended up just pausing his black car campaign. Now his whole budget's going to sprinters and his ROI is much, much higher than it was prior uh, when, to when he was having the sprinter campaign. And the craziest part is, and a lot of people don't realize this, <clears throat> if, if you set this all up correctly, um, your sprinter leads will not cost that much more than the black car leads. I know it's crazy, right? Because generally speaking, the average ticket on sprinters is over $500 per job when you average it all out. And many times, like I said earlier, you can get multi-day jobs. And so why not, if you have a sprinter, market that vehicle. And that's the last thing I'll make a point about. Generally speaking, the more expensive the vehicle, the less the competition there is for it. Because when you think about it, it's harder to get financing, right? And so you're competing with a smaller pool of people. So when you have the huge 56 passenger motor coaches, that's actually got the least competition. And the crazy thing is if you look online, you'll notice in most markets, the ads are run by brokers. It's not many operators that are actually running ads for those huge buses. And so that indicates the margin on those vehicles is high enough to where they can do that. Because we always tell new clients that want to do some sort of broker relationship, we always tell them, if you're doing black car, we do not sign up brokers. We do not work with brokers. You have to be using your own vehicles. But since you can't find many companies that are actually running ads for motor coaches in any given market, and it's mostly brokers, what does that tell you? That tells you there's enough margin in there to where they can book a job, bring in another company to do it, pay it, pay them 70% or let's say 65% or 75% of, of the total job. And then they keep whatever that is, might be a few hundred dollars, could be a few thousand dollars if it's a motor coach or, or a couple going to another state. So anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to the channel and do me a favor, check out your online marketing and check out where your budget's going because you wanna make sure you're allocating budget to the thing that's going to get you, or I should say the vehicle that's going to get you the largest return. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you on next week's video.